I told I told her the reasons why the principal has already lost her trust and confidence, and she did, which I think is a minimum uh, qualifies really as a due process. For what reasons were she being uh, let go off? And then she also explained her side. She was given a chance to explain her side. Mr. Chair, if if Attorney Salaika is maintaining the position that she followed the requirements of due process, question number one, did you give her a copy of the complaint, yes or no? Uh, uh, no. Did you set a hearing for her, yes or no? No, Your Honor. Three, did you come up with a resolution on the issue that is being charged against her, yes or no? Uh, no, I Your Honor. No, and therefore you did not follow the requirements of due process. I have Do you something. know Yusek Mercado? Uh, of the, she used to be with the Department of Education, Your Honor. That's what we understand as well. Mm -hmm. And you are with the office of the Vice President. Uh, that is correct, Your Honor. Were there occasions when you also? join the operation or program implementation of the DepEd? Uh, no, Your Honor. Were there occasions that you meet with the officials of the DepEd? Uh, all operational concerns that are brought to the office of the Vice President, because at the same time, she was also then the Secretary of Education, are matters we refer to uh, USEC POA when I understand. he was... But the question is, about you, Attorney Solaika. Mayroon ho bang mga pagkakataon na pumunta kayo doon sa DepEd para makiisa sa mga program implementation? Uh, the only instances, Your Honor, that we were, the Office of the Vice President were in DepEd were for instances when the Vice President receives uh, courtesy calls in the bulwagan ng uh, education. Were there occasions when you joined the meeting of the key officials of DepEd? Uh, no, Your Honor. Were there occasions that you represented the Vice President in the official functions in the Department of Education? Uh, no, Your Honor. None at all? None. In one of those hearings, Attorney Salaika, Yusek Mercado testified that he was, she, she was asked to allow this negotiated procurement of the department computerization program budget. And she refused. And after some time, you ask her to resign. The reason why you ask her to resign is because she refused to conform to the negotiated procurement of the department's computerization program. Can you please enlighten us on this? Uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, um, I was instructed by the Vice President uh, to call uh, Yusek Mercado and tell her that the principal has lost her trust and confidence in Sabi her. niyo po kanina, hindi po kayo nakikialam sa DepEd, di po ba? Your Honor, that was just an isolated incident. In this case, ginagawa ko po lang yung trabaho ko because at the, the Vice President was also the Secretary of Education. And in that instance, she, she said that I was, to, I was to be the one to... I uh, advise uh, Ma'am Gloria that she has already, the principal has already lost her trust and confidence in Ms. Mercado for certain reasons and that it, it cannot be uh, Mr. Poa who will, who will handle it because to prevent friction among senior officials in the Department of Education. That, the, the thought being, if it were Mr. Poa who will uh, be the one to say that to the to Mom Gloria. It might create unnecessary friction in the working relationship of the senior officials of the Department of Education, Your Honor. But at, least, am, but at least, Attorney Salaika, you confirm that you were the one who asked Yusek Mercado to resign. 
Yes, I was event. instructed by the Vice President to do so. In your capacity as a lawyer, Attorney Sulaika, do you believe that you have a legal basis to do that? Uh, your Honor. Yes or no, Attorney? Yes, I had legal basis to do that. Why? Because your, your Honor, office is with the OVP and the person you're asking to resign is with the DepEd. Uh, your Honor? Because I, if you I will be claiming that you have the legal basis to do that, then the people in the DepEd has the legal basis also to meddle in the operation and separation of employees of the OVP. Your Honor, Mr. Chair, for the record, this is an isolated incident. It was an instruction given to me by my principal. And at the same time, my principal was also the Secretary of Education. So it was a task that I simply did, which was to re advise Ms. Uh, Mercado that uh, given that the principal, to advise her that the principal has lost her trust and confidence in her, and then to please uh, submit a letter of, a letter of resignation. That was a task I had to do. I did, Your Honor. Will, will, will you welcome ko. Attorney Sulaika, the DepEd official, coming into the office of the Vice President, meddling on the operation of the OVP? Would you welcome that? Yes or no? I believe no. Again, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, it was really an isolated incident where I was instructed by the Vice President, who was also the Secretary of Education during that time. Attorney, please enlighten us. Walk us through. Kwento niyo po sa amin. Paano po nangyari itong pagkikita ninyo at pag-uusap ninyo ni Yusek Mercado? Uh, I was just, I was instructed first by the Vice President to uh, call on Mr. Mercado. Kailan po yan? Ay, hindi ko na po maalala. At least the year and the month. I th I think last year, Your Honor. Last year? This is 2023. Anong buwan ho ba ito? I am sorry, Your Honor. I cannot anymore recall. But it First was quarter? Second quarter? Um, I cannot anymore recall. Your you should Honor. have remembered this because you are asking a high-ranking deputy official to resign. This is something which is very remarkable. Uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, it was... Please continue. Thank you. It was really a, a task that was given to me, which I performed. Yes, but please walk us through. Um, Paano, kailan, nagyari po itong pag-uusap niyong ito ni Yusek Mercado? Uh, hindi ko na po maalala yung time. Ma'am, o oh, ay yung buwan o yung period? Saan po kayo nag-usap? Uh, pinatawag po namin siya sa Office of the Vice President Central Office. And then? Uh, did you personally call her? Uh, no, Your Honor. So who called you, Sec Mercado? Uh, Mr. Lemuel Ortonio, I understand. Mr. Lemuel Ortonio. And then what happened? Um, then she came to the office, Your Honor, and then we sat with her and then uh, told her. When about you said we, who are among those uh, Mr. Lemuel who talked with him? The three of you. Yes. Just uh, the three of you. That is correct. And how did the conversation start? Um, uh, sinabi po namin sa kanya na the reason that she's called there and then uh, we gave her we told her that we were instructed, we were uh, operating on the instruction of the uh, vice president, who was also the secretary of education that time. We told her that uh, the principal has lost her trust and confidence sa kanya. And for... Uh, Would you know, Attorney Sulaika, kung gaano na katagal na nagtratrabaho si Yusek Mercado sa DepEd when this incident happened? Uh, I would assume, Your Honor, that she has been uh, working with the government for quite some time. Like 40 years? 30 years? Uh, maybe, maybe, yes. And you will agree with me that 
this is a very serious thing, asking somebody to resign, somebody who has rendered service in the government for more than 30 years already. Tama po ba? Uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, um, this is not to uh, also belittle the credentials of USEC Mercado. It is not. But the reason that we, I was instructed to tell her that the principal has lost her trust and confidence in her already, Your Honor. So, um, yun lang po yung sinabi ko. At, uh, sinabi, yun lang Attorney, yung... you are a lawyer. It is fundamental upon us mm. to follow due process. Did you accord Yusek Mercado the fundamental right to due process? I told her the reasons why, Your Honor. Yes, did you give her ample opportunity to explain her side? Uh, yes, uh, Yusek Mercado explained, but I told her that I was not the person that she was to talk to because in, I am not part of DepEd. I told her to take these concerns to the chief of staff or the office of the secretary in the Department of Education. Medyo unfair po yan, Attorney Salaika. When you will be advising Yusek Mercado that she has to tender her courtesy resignation, you will be claiming that that is an instruction coming from your principal. And now that Attorney Salaika is trying to explain herself... Attorney Mercado. Yusek Mercado is trying to explain herself. You will be telling her that you do not belong to Deb Ed. I, I listened to her, Your Honor. I did. I listened to her. But at the end of the day, I cannot make that decision because I am not with the Department of Education. Of course, you understand the theory of constructive dismissal. Do you? You do. Because we are lawyers. Please enlighten the committee. What is constructive dismissal? Hmm. Uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. What I did was really in pers pursuance of the instruction of the Vice Mr. President. Mr. Chair, can we please direct our resource speaker to be responsive to the question? Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe to Kila Penis Bolita now. Until the next video.